Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be filming a video about my rook piercing. Let me show you. It just looks like this. I got it done yesterday. It's still quite sore like around here, but... So I just wanted to film a quick video about this just because I feel like I just want to look back on it. I don't know. So I got my rook pierced yesterday. I've wanted it for so long, probably about three years. I always go through phases where I suddenly want it really bad. And I'm kind of going through that phase right now. And I was like, you know what? I've got the money. Why not just do it? I never really do impulsive decisions. So this is like really crazy for me. <laughs> but yeah, so I decided to get it. This is my fourth piercing. Also, I just want to say a quick disclaimer for this video. I'm not experienced with piercings. I don't have a lot of piercings. I probably, I have literally four piercings. So I feel like there's going to be some people that watch this video that know a lot about piercings. I love piercings, but I just don't have a lot of piercings. Um, so yeah, please be aware of that. I don't know a lot about piercings, so I'm probably going to say the wrong thing and I'm probably really stupid at this kind of stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video about this, just telling you guys about my experience if you guys want to get it done. So yeah, it's still quite red, I think. I can't really see it. The reason why I wanted my Rook was because it's quite like a little dainty piercing. It's not really noticeable and I feel like a lot of people don't really have it. Because I work in a job where I can't actually have piercings, so I'm not actually allowed this, but it's quite discreet so you can't actually see it. Like if I went like this, you can't see it. You can only really see it if I tilt my head and I'm like, hey, look at my ear. <laughs> but yeah, I've wanted it for so long. The first time I realized that I wanted it was when a friend on my Twitter was like, I want a rook piercing. And then she posted a picture of it and I was like, I want this too. And like ever since then, I've just been obsessed with them and I love them so much. If anyone's interested, I went to a place called Off Your Tree, which every now and again has deals on where they have five dollar piercings it's kind of deceiving because it's five dollar piercings but you have to pay for the jewelry and like the spray and stuff so my piercing cost me 35 dollars which is actually really cheap still so it was really good and i was like you know what i've got the money i'm old enough why not just do it impulse impulse moment like if not when now if not I said that's so wrong if not now then when so i was like you know what Let's do this. I want to change it to a little... I'll insert a picture of what I eventually want it to look like. I just want like a little diamond. So like a little diamond on each end. Because I just think that looks really cute and simple. I don't actually wear earrings. So this is literally like the only piercing I have in my ear. I also got this saline spray. Which I use to clean it. To clean it I usually just spray this on it. And then I get a little Q-tip. And just clean around it. I usually do this about three times a day. I want to talk to you guys about the pain and stuff because I know that's what you're interested in. So I'm pretty good with needles. I don't really fuss about needles. I'm good with pain when I know why I'm in pain and I know that it's not causing me any harm. So I'm kind of okay with it. There is a lizard. There is a lizard crawling on my grass. Yeah? What was I saying before my mom interrupted me and a lizard interrupted me? Okay, so I'm okay with pain when I know why I'm in pain. So I kind of just set myself up to be in pain. I watched a few videos on it and a lot of them said it hurt really bad. So I was like, eee. The time where I'm most nervous is when I'm like just waiting. Like the suspense of waiting to get it done. That's when I get the most nervous. Once I'm actually in there lying down, I'm usually okay. But my anxiety peaks like when you're waiting. That's usually when I'm most anxious. So what she did was she took a toothpick and marked where she was gonna put it. And then I lied down and she, I don't know what happened cause obviously she's in my ear and I can't really be like, what are you doing? <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure she just got a needle and stuck it through. Um, it, it took quite a long time to go through and by a long time I mean like two seconds. And when a lot of people say when you get a piercing in your cartilage, you can hear your cartilage like crush. And you can kind of hear that, but it wasn't what I was expecting. I thought it would be like a crack, but it's like a like popping sound. It's weird. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but yeah, it's not that bad. Um, the pain lasts about three seconds. It's like a pinch. It does hurt, but it's only lasts like three seconds and it's not that bad. It's, it's bearable. If you get this piercing and you watch all these videos and you're really nervous about the pain, once you actually get it done, you'll be like, hey, that wasn't that bad. 
and I promise you that it won't be bad. Um, so yeah, and then she put the jewellery in, which kind of hurt as well. The whole experience wasn't that bad, and then after I got it done, my ear just felt like it was burning. It didn't bleed at all, and it hasn't bled at all, and even when I clean it, it's just, it's not blood, but it's like, it's just got like a little bit of crusties on it. But even then, like, it's not bad. It hasn't caused any problems for me yet. Touch wood. Touch wood. Um, but yeah, the only problem I really have is sleeping. Sleeping is annoying because I sleep on my side, so I just kind of have to sleep on this side. Um, if you move around in your sleep, you'd probably find that you probably roll over and then end up sleeping on this side. And you'll probably wake up in like excruciating pain. But that didn't happen to me last night, so fingers crossed it doesn't happen to me tonight. But yeah, I've heard that if you do sleep on your side, use a travel pillow. You know the ones that are like, you put on your neck? Apparently those help. I don't know. I'm just saying what people have said, but yeah. So that's everything so far. I love it. It's cute. Oh, it apparently takes three to four months to heal, but I've heard a lot of people say that it takes like a year to heal. So we'll see. I don't know, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm sorry this video was really short, but I kind of just wanted to like document it. This channel is kind of just like my diary, but instead I'm just filming myself. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm sorry if you weren't interested in this, but I just really wanted to document it. And I, if you specifically clicked on this video because you want your rook pierced, I say do it, do it, do it, do it. And if you do get it done, let me know your experience because I really want to know because I love, I love piercings. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. Goodbye.